Ya, And they say nothing exciting ever happens unplanned. That was right in the giblets, man. Okay, sit down for a second. Ow. So the airline came off of the barb. That tickled. Oh. Let my stuff get back down inside the bag and uh, let me just a minute. So, anybody watch any good movies? Ah! <clears throat> no? Okay. I heard print is dead. It's all online now. It's kind of sad. I did recently finish the uh, Brave New World. I had a, uh, I got my hands on a really cool first edition. Gorgeous book, absolutely gorgeous. I read the book back in high school and uh, I got it like a year ago and I just finally, finally finished it. It's like, it's like this thing. But uh, being in high school, you gotta read it, do a book report, you kind of blaze through the thing. Well, uh, I really like the story, so I searched out the book and got a, a first edition. And uh, I love it, absolutely love that book. Um, it's, it's a beautiful book, beautiful story, the way it's written, the time that it was written, I, think, I believe it was done in the 30s. And it's very indicative as to what now is. So, uh, yeah. But, um, all right, uh, I think I can move now. My abdomen, my <laughs> abdominal region is um, <clears throat> back intact. Let's try not to shoot an airline back at my, my wooden bits again, huh? Shall we? All right, let's continue. Whoa, that hurt. <laughs> to mess with but it's all the underside top and a little something there I can take out if I really wanted to and a little something in there but actually I may deal with that that feels like a bent so I'll probably get rid of that right there um oh, let me take this off ah, there we go okay so there you go um I'm gonna leave a couple little little guys here and there for the body shop gotta give them something to do right and uh, that's the top side so gauges go here and what this goes on. I can't tell you, but I'm pretty sure anybody that's been following me for a minute has figured out what I do um, as of the last like eight, nine months and uh, really enjoy it. So um, not only that, so while this piece was being made and I was doing all the filming and the videos that some of you decided to stomach through and watch, there's something that you did not know. It wasn't just one being built, it was actually two. So this is pre-cleaning up, planishing, grinding, and all that stuff. This is what one looks like beforehand. Um, we had to modify a little bit 
So there were strips added, but essentially this was in two pieces besides a little inch boo-boo thing on either side, um, simply because we cut I, yesterday um, in the videos series somewhere in the chain of events, um, I had cut an inch off the bottom of the buck, so I had to remodify it. Well, in doing so, it left an opening of about half an inch on either side folded over that I had to add to. So in order to do that, you can't do a half an inch. You have to do like an inch strip or an inch and a half strip, weld it to it, planish both sides, and then go ahead back in and tie it into the outer cap. So that's what happened to actually both of these. Um, this is the keeper. This one is going to go into sale for, I think, another hood kit type deal, a uh, hood kit dash to be sold. Um, so it's just while we're doing one, we might as well do two and go from there. So this is all, all pre-ground, pre pre-planished and straightened out and, you know, finished off. And obviously this is pretty much essentially done for as far as we're going to take it or as far as I'm going to take it. Um, the rest of it can go in the hands of the body shop or whoever's going to paint the thing and uh, go from there. So all I recommend is uh, after about 40 minutes, these oxidize and there's a layer of oxidation on it. Um, the aluminum just kind of protects itself. So after 45 minutes, uh, you have to rescuff it if you're in a body shop or paint shop and you're gonna do anything to it. Put a filler to it, paint, anything. Anything exposed, you got 40 minutes of a window. After that, it oxidizes and then whatever you put on top of it is gonna go <clears throat> at some point, quickly. So, I hope you enjoyed this series. It was kind of really half-assed uh, from the get-go, um, but I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, I'll do something else or do some other stuff uh, here at some point again, and um, I'll just keep adding videos to this thing and, and see what happens. My YouTube channel has been kind of dusty. Um, I just haven't felt like dealing with anything uh, people-wise. I'm one of those hermits. I go in spurts. Sometimes I get excited to show people stuff and other times I just like, nah, nobody needs to know. So again, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'm gonna go uh, get a water and um, check in my guys, cause that really hurt. <laughs> and uh, peace out, see ya, be good.